to Chicago. Hey, girl. Do you want to grab a drink? Let's do it. I'm dying of thirst. Cool, I'll meet you at Virgin in 10. All right, see you in a bit. Cheers. <laughs> felt like it's a void in the marketplace. I feel like girl groups are just such a great part of history. When I was coming up, like it was so many different girl groups in Vogue, TLC, Spice Girls, Jade, SWV, Escape, like it was so many girl groups. Yeah. And then like now you're thinking back about how many girl groups we have now, it's like two. It's Little Mix who are overseas. Uh -huh. And by the way, I put them together when I did X Factor with yeah. Simon. And um, it's Fifth Harmony. Right. And it showcases camaraderie right. amongst women and females, and it's really important for the next generation to see that. What is the key to pulling greatness out of someone? Just paying attention to who they are, to right. their body language, um, to their voice, to the way they move, and seeing the potential there. You can't expect for somebody to be, to just start off great. You know, we all need work. Nobody's perfect when we're all a work in progress. So when I look at these girls, I'm thinking, well, I like her voice and I feel like it can be something different mm -hmm. and it can be something unique and it can contribute great to a group. And I'm thinking all these things and then I'm like, does she know it? So then I ask that question and I'll ask the girls, like, do you know how talented you are? Do you know what you bring to the table? And if they tell me either the yes or the no, if they say yes, then I'm like, perfect. Well, we're going to perfect it even more. If they say no, then you really got to get in there and grind and, and pull it out. And I think that it can happen. It can happen. There's greatness in us all, and we just have to really pull it out and bring people around them to make sure that they pull it out. That's to why I'm so, exactly, I'm so keen on girlfriends having great friends. And that's what I want this group uh -huh. to feel like. I don't even know how you're gonna like narrow it down. It's I, so hard. It's so hard. I, and I'll then drink when I saw the that. previews for the next, I'm like, oh no, trouble with this girl. Like no. Oh. <laughs> you talk also about seizing the moment, and that it's important for the girls to do it. I'm curious in your life, when is there a moment that stood out where you? knew and realized that you needed to seize that moment and you did. Oh, actually, and not because it was on BET, but it was my motivation performance. I had one of the best performances of my life at the BET uh, Awards and I remember working so hard in rehearsal and downloading all the movement and all I had to do was just put the next level into it. The next level is usually like what happened to me like Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Super Bowl, I don't remember what happened. I just remember my feet and looking down at my feet. Oh my God, I get chills thinking about it. And, it and you, it's just the outer body experience. You know what I mean? You put the outer body experience with preparation, it's anything can happen. Oh. Anything, greatness happens. What is something that maybe you had to learn the hard way that you're able to pass along to these girls? To listen to your intuition and to be smart. I know it's easier said than done, but to be smart, and I think that's what, being smart and listening to your intuition are hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Because if you listen to your intuition, it's usually telling you something that you feel deep down inside, and to me it's a higher power. Mm -hmm. To me it's, you know, your higher power and you going, this is what we need to be happy. This is what we need to be comfortable. This is what we need to push ourselves. Like, I, I think that listening to your intuition is just, yeah, they get you where you need to be. When did you know your husband was the one? We had this conversation <laughs> on the phone because we'd like to develop this weird friendship because Michelle Williams of Destiny's Child, she knew Tim since she was a kid. Oh, and so I when she came into the group, Tim started to come around and I was like, who is that guy with you? Like, she's like, oh, Tim, we grew up, you know, when we were kids and yada, yada, yada. And so I asked her why she wasn't dating him because I just thought he was so cute. She's like, oh, Tim, no. Oh, God, no, he's family. No, I would never. Oh, and, so, and so Tim and I just became friends because I was like, oh, I was super shallow back then. Like, oh, he's bald. Oh, <laughs> we're the same height. Oh, I don't like his shoes. Oh, like I was really bugging out. And um, we talked on the phone one day and I never wanted to stop talking to him. Uh -huh. 
And so we would like continuously talk and I was dating this real loser guy at the time. And I'm actually asking for like relationship advice. Stop. And I swear to you. And so I tell him, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna date. I'm over this guy. I'm not gonna date. And I'm just gonna, you know, take a break for a year, yada, yada, yada. And he, and I said, I'm gonna wait for God to send me a man. He said, well, what if God sent you a dude? And you waited your year and you and that dude was me. And I said, click and I hung up the phone because our conversations were just so deep and they scared me and I knew then and there I was like oh man is this my husband right now God this is too early oh my god <laughs> I lit I was super honest about it but um we've just became friends and friends turned into lovers and lovers turned into marriage story. yeah and lovers turned into like I just I don't want to be without him I don't oh want life gosh. without him. He is just the best guy ever. I don't know what I did or who said a prayer, but man, I hit the lotto. Yeah. And so did he. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my gosh, I love that I'll story. Drink that. <laughs> I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that too. Do you think that the key is maybe like have, having a best friend and being friends before? He always says that women usually get in their own way when it comes to dating. He says that women look for all of these like perfect things that guys are supposed to do and be and say and we're hopeless romantics. I said, ain't nothing wrong with us being hopeless romantics. We're supposed to be romantic. That's we're emotional creatures, naturally. He says, yeah, but y'all's expectations can get really out of hand. Huh, and yeah. he's right. And um, you know, I just feel like you should still set the bar high because I think that you should think high of yourself, but I also think that you should you should play fair. Okay, I like that. Play you should fair. play fair. <laughs> what is the best moment that's happened over a drink? Oh, the best moment? Or the best drink you've had? Jolly Ranchers, tequila, and ice in a blender. Whoa. Yeah, you completely lose your way, but it's really fun getting there. What did you do that with? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Know. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I used to have these parties when I lived in Miami every New Year's. What? And a friend of mine, Baku, who's more like a brother, Baku made this, he's like, yo, you got to try this drink. It's Jolly Ranchers, um, tequila, and ice in a blender. So we bought a specific blender to be able to, like, really crack down on the Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> Everybody asked for that drink, and the next morning, I looked up with a piece of paper on the side of my face. Like, lit like I, it was, like, from a movie or something. And I'm looking at people all over my floor. I'm like, who the hell is that? And... Um, but it was so wild. I used to have a stripper pole in like my living room. Like we had some fun times. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to make that. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna, I've never had that, and I. We should always, call it the pole. Yeah, the pole. Oh <laughs> Get down gosh. on this pole. Everyone will be on the pole after that. <laughs> they uh, were. <laughs> what is your favorite Destiny's Child music video? Probably say my name. It was so cool how that whole video came about, you know, with us having two new members and them not really knowing steps. Uh -huh. We knew that poses would work. Uh -huh. And um, how that came about was just nothing but magic because then when people saw us at uh, the concerts, they'd be doing this. I still do, yeah. It was just, it was a moment it, that you, that, like that was such a beautiful mistake. It just, exactly. It just happened. Yeah. Home that home was home. so fun. I'm Kelly Rowland on a drink with. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>